Are you a Salesforce admin or business analyst looking to stand out in this competitive tech landscape? What if I told you that adding development skills to your toolkit could increase your overall effectiveness and open up a world of opportunity? Stick around as we dive into why every Salesforce professional should learn Salesforce development in some capacity. It can really help transform your current role and add a huge impact to your company. Hello Salesforce, Ohana Walters 954 here with over 10 years of experience, 18 certifications. I've seen a lot of different challenges and innovations that have come through the Salesforce platform. One thing that has always stayed steady is knowing a bit of development can really help transform your capabilities in the declarative realm. Also being able to take projects and take on different things in the developer realm. In this video, I'm gonna go over some of the top impacts that learning development skills can have on your Salesforce career. The first thing I've got to touch on, of course, are the job opportunities that are out there. Salesforce already has many different opportunities for the administration, BA, and I guess non-development roles. But as soon as you learn some of that development, it opens up a wide variety of different types of roles that you can tackle. Learning programming as a BA or an administrator can take you very far. You can jump all the way to being a developer or maybe shoot for a hybrid role, which allows you to dabble in a little bit of code, but you can potentially send off some of the more complex things as you're learning to different resources that you have at your company. Of course, just knowing how to program will set you apart from other individuals at your company. And we've got to be honest, right? Everything is a competition and you technically need to be more valuable than the person sitting across from you. You know, maybe you really like them and they're a great person to hang out with. But when companies are looking to do cuts or maybe even do promotions, give new projects to, you want to have more skills than the next person so that you can be seen as that more valuable employee. I've seen a huge uptick in these hybrid types of developer roles where you have that admin experience and you're using that to mesh together different automations. And then when you need to, when you've hit those limits, you jump into the development realm, maybe writing triggers or integrations all by yourself. Instead of needing to contact a consultant, you're that one stop shop that the company needs to get everything done. And of course, this leads into the continuous learning aspect of things as a dev or especially as you're learning the dev side, you have to stay on top of programming fundamentals, all of the development skills that you're building. And then, of course, Salesforce is releasing new development features all the time. So you'll need to learn those. And those are going to make you more versatile as an employee because you're able to utilize more tools that the platform offers. Speaking of tools that the platform offers, when you know development and how to code, it makes it a lot easier to understand and improve existing automations that exist on your Salesforce org. Let's take flows, for example. Maybe you know how to do some screen flows, do some for loops inside of flows, but once you apply some programmatic concepts to that, you know why things are actually acting certain ways, why you shouldn't do a DML inside of a for loop, why for loops are iterating certain ways, and why it's kind of fun to use sub flows to break up and reuse different parts of your flows. All of those concepts can be directly translated into code and it just gives you a better understanding of how those tools are working so that you can write more efficient flows or even translate them into code. And this doesn't just stop at flows. Once you know Salesforce development, doing things like formula fields or even writing reports become a lot easier since you have that foundational or that background knowledge that can really expand upon the declarative automations that you're working with. This can lead you to really innovative solutions. Maybe you start using custom metadata types, custom settings, and start combining clicks and code so that you're building a holistic solution and not being pigeonholed into just using configuration. 
one of the things that I love to do that blends admin and development skills is write SOQL queries for reports or extracting data. Now, if you haven't really done this before or you get a little tripped up with the SOQL syntax, check the link down below for the SOQL cheat sheet that I've created totally free for you all to grab. Now I'm going to be a little bit biased here as an admin or a BA or even as a developer. Don't you just love working with people that get you when I'm on projects and I can talk with an admin or a BA that truly understands development. It is a breath of fresh air because it's so easy to communicate. We get on the same page very easily. This is another reason why it's super important for every Salesforce professional to learn development. When you are working with developers, you want to be able to communicate more effectively. This leads to improvements across the board in terms of accuracy when building out requirements or even faster project completion because you're able to predict things that a developer might need for their work. Speaking from personal experience, working with non-developers, but they have those technical skills, those programmatic skills, right? It really helps make the project run so much smoother because you are speaking the same language. There's a lot to learn in development, which can be very daunting. But once you get that foundational, that baseline knowledge, and you're able to communicate effectively with other developers, you will become a favorite to the development teams to work with. Now, if you don't know where to start learning some of these technical terms, check out the free developer roadmap that I've created that you can download. Now you've got a bunch of reasons to learn Salesforce development. It'll boost your overall career trajectory. You'll have different career opportunities and picking up some hybrid roles. You'll be able to understand your automations better and write them more efficiently and even communicate better with technical resources and make you that gem on your team to work with. So now you're probably wondering where to get started. You're ready to jump into Salesforce development. Of course, start with trailhead dive into those beginner trails and there's been a new website popping up a ton lately campapex.org check that out for different coding challenges that you can jump into now if you're looking for a more step-by-step -step approach going from not knowing any code to pretty much coding every day with a bunch of different challenges and getting very hands-on check out cloud code academy and the developer kickstart program. This is the program that I run to help teach many different admins and BAs and anybody that's interested in Salesforce development. Thanks so much for watching. If this was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe as always. And remember that roadmap that I mentioned a little bit earlier? Well, if you're interested in me breaking down each of the sections and where you should dive into code, check out this video that I've just linked over here. As always, I'm Walters954. Thanks so much for watching, and I believe in you.